Today I created two more eye looks with the new Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Moonlight Palette. I have already done one look with this palette on my channel, so if you want some more inspiration, I'll link that video down below for you. And then last week I posted my in-depth swatches and comparisons of this palette, so if you want to see that as well, I'll link that down below. But today I just kind of played around with this palette some more, and I love how both of these eye looks turn out. We have two totally different looks. First look is a bit more of a soft glam look, but still a lot of sparkle. And then for the second look, I used a lot of that deep blue navy shade with one of the shimmers on top, and I I think this is a gorgeous smoky eye. So if you want to see how I got these two eye looks, go ahead and keep on watching. Let's get started with the first look. I did already prime my eyes with the Rare Beauty Eyeshadow Primer and I set that with the translucent powder. For my first look, I kind of want to do more of like a soft glam look using some of the lighter shades in the palette. So I'm going to start with EM5 on a crease brush. And I just wanted to mention that these matte shades do have quite a bit of kick up when you pick up the shadows. So after you have the shadow on the brush, make sure you tap off all that excess shadow so you don't get fallout on your face. And I'm going to run this shade throughout my entire crease. You can see I'm going all the way from the inner crease right in here all the way towards the outer crease. And I kind of do a mixture of these big windshield wiper motions and also kind of little circles throughout the crease. I really love this shade from the palette. I think it's a really good crease shade and a really good starting shade for pretty much any look you do with this palette. I did pick up some more shadow and I'm just going to build that up. And this shade is kind of unique too because it's like a mixture of gray and brown together. So it really does have a nice cool undertone to it without it being too gray. Now on the same brush, I'm picking up EM3 and I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm just placing this right in my crease. I really like how these two shades look mixed together and the slightly pink undertone in that EM3 shade just kind of helps to soften everything out. So I went ahead and picked up more EM5 but this time more on the flat side of my crease brush and I'm going to tap this on the outer part of my eyelid. and then just making sure it connects into my crease. And then I'm taking even more EM5 now on the tip of my crease brush and I'm gonna run that across my entire lower lash line. I would typically use a smaller brush for my lower lash line, but because I'm just gonna place this kind of lighter crease shade down there, I'm okay using this fluffy brush for this. Now I'm gonna pick up a little bit of EM1. Now I'm gonna use this lighter shade to soften out and smooth the edges. So I'm gonna place my brush kind of right below my brow and just lightly blend under here. And this shade is a satin, so you will see a little bit of shift with that shade. It's very soft, like a very, very soft shimmer. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of EM9. So I really just picked up a tiny bit on the tip of this brush and I'm gonna add that to the outer part of my lid to deepen it up just a bit more. funny about this shade is that it's a warm brown color but when you're pairing it with all of these cool toned you know grayish brown shades that slightly pinky shade it really doesn't show up super warm on the eyes it really just helps to add a bit of depth to this look and then I'm gonna add a tiny bit to the outer part of my lower lash line And yes, I've only used this one brush so far for this entire eye look. This is like one of my go-to eyeshadow brushes. It's the Sigma E25. I just call it a crease brush because it just does everything. I tend to use mostly Sigma eyeshadow brushes in my video. And if you want to check out any of their brushes or other products, I do have a code. It's just Angela Bright and that'll save you some money on their website. Now let's add some shimmer to this look. I'm going to start by applying a little bit of my NYX glitter primer on the inner part of my eyelid. And this will give the shimmer shadow something to stick to. And for my shimmer, I'm gonna start with EM6. There it is on my finger, so let's tap that right on top of that NYX glitter primer. Oh. Something weird's happening. I don't know if, did I not blend out the primer enough? Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think there might have been a little bit of that shadow above it EM2 in my EM6 is why I'm getting that like little bit of a bluish line in there. Whoops. Okay, well, let me keep going with EM6. Yeah, those shades definitely mix together. And then I'm gonna tap just a little bit on that outer part of my eyelid just to kind of get the sparkles out here, but I still wanna keep that depth out there. I wasn't planning on this, but I feel like I should add more of that EM2 shade since it's there in my crease anyways accidentally. <laughs> I'm still pretty new to these shimmering shadows from Mario, so I'm just kind of playing around with different ways to try them out. But I'm going to take that shade on a smaller crease brush, and I want to see what kind of effect this smaller brush is going to give the shadow. So I'm going to keep it right in my inner crease where that shadow already is. Oh yeah. And then I'm going to kind of blend it into EM6. This is not where I was planning on going with this look today. I wanted to keep it a bit softer and not use this shade for this particular look, but just kind of rolling with it today. That is so sparkly. Really, really pretty. Might as well just bring that down into my inner corner while I'm here with this light shimmery shade. Then I'm gonna go back to my crease brush with a little bit more EM3 on it, that more pinky matte shade. And I'm just gonna lightly run this in my upper crease area, kind of right along the edge of that shimmer. I know I'm going back and forth a lot, but I'm gonna go back in with EM6 because I didn't want this look to be so bluish toned with that EM2 shade. So if I just add a bit more EM6 on my lid, just kind of mixing these two together. Yeah, this is a sparkly look. Here's what this eye look looks like with just mascara on for those of you who don't like to wear false lashes like I do. And I just use the Essence Call Me Queen mascara. All right, I popped on my lash and I went for a very natural lash style today. This is the style Minimalist from the Bright Lashes, which is my lash brand. So this is my most natural looking lash because it's a lot shorter than most of the lashes that you see on the market. So it's actually really close to the length of my natural lashes. It's not super long where it's gonna, you know, touch my eyebrow and just kind of get in the way or touch your glasses. Glasses. It's nice and short and then it's also just very lightly full throughout the entire lash That's what minimalist looks like It just has a little bit of fullness throughout and then because this lash does have a black lash band I did stamp just a little bit of black shadow from the palette on my lash line to help hide that lash band And here's the first eyeshadow look complete Like I said, this look didn't turn out as I expected with that added EM2 shade, but it just kind of popped up, so I just kind of went with it. But I hope you can see on camera just how beautiful these shimmering shadows are. This is me adding my phone flashlight. Like, do you see that? These really are stunning shimmery shades. Let's move on to the second look. My plan for the second look is to do something focused around that deep blue navy shade because I feel like it's such a standout shade from the palette. In my very first look I did with this palette, I did use a lot of that on my lower lash line, but this time I want just like the entire eye covered in blue. Then I wanna pop one of the shimmery shades on top of that and I think it's gonna be stunning. So to start this look, I'm gonna take EM11 on another crease brush. I picked up the shadow more on the flat side of the brush and I'm gonna apply that across my entire eyelid. So I'm starting the brush on the center of my eyelid where I want the most pigment and then I'm just lightly tapping my brush, moving towards the inner corner and then towards the outer corner of my lid. So once I have most of that shadow on my eyelid, if I were just to look at you right now, my eye looks super closed off because I have this dark shade on my lid. So I wanna to start to blend this shade upwards towards my crease. So I didn't pick up any more shadow, but I'm gonna start bringing my brush up a bit higher and do those back and forth motions to bring this shade up. and it's not gonna look super pretty at first. There is gonna be a, quite a bit of layering for this look. Now that blue shade is slightly blended out, but I wanted to point out, you see how my lid is kind of dark right here in the center? And that's because that's the very first place where I laid down my brush when I had all of that pigment on it. So your shadow is always gonna stick a little bit more on that very first place that you put it down. Now on my crease brush, I'm gonna take EM3. I have the shade on the tip of my brush and I'm gonna run this throughout my entire crease. Another 
So you can see that shade added a bit of color in my crease, but it also really helped to kind of smooth out and soften those blue edges. Now I'm gonna go back in and build up that blue shade, but I'm gonna keep it low on my eyelid. And then again, once most of that product is off of my brush, I'm gonna bring my brush up a little bit higher towards my crease to kind of bring the shade up here. And then going back in with a little bit of EM2 and just adding that to the crease. You kind of just gotta go back and forth between these two shades until you're happy with the blend. And then whenever you're doing a dark smoky eye like this, kind of like how I showed you in the beginning, when I'm looking straight at you, you wanna make sure you can see some of this shadow above this natural fold in my eye or else your eye will look super closed off. So I am making sure I'm bringing this up here so you can see it when my eye is open. Now I'm gonna add the blue to my lower lash line with the smudge brush. And I am getting a little bit of blue fallout right down here with that shadow. Now I'm gonna switch to a small fluffy blending brush with more of that E3 shade, and I'm gonna use that to soften out the blue. So I'm really just blending right on top of that shadow. And I actually didn't bother cleaning up any of that fallout because it actually kind of got blended away with this little bit of blending that I'm doing. Now I'm gonna go back in and apply a little bit more of the blue to my lower lash line. Like I said, lots of layers and lots of building with these matte shades. And with this blue on my lower lash line, I wanted to point out that I really am bringing it all the way pretty much in my inner corner area because I really want this blue to be wrapped around the entire eye. Now, like I said, there is still a little bit of fallout down here and I really just want to clean up this area. So I'm actually going to dip into my face powder. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury one in the shade one. And I'm taking that powder on a large flat brush like this and I'm going to use that to clean up this entire edge of the shadow. You can see right now that blue is just kind of falling down here a little bit. So this is really going to clean it up. I think I smeared it a bit too much. It cleaned up this edge nicely. That did what I wanted to do. This is your warning if you're using these deeper dark matte shades, lay down a bunch of powder under your eyes before you do your eyeshadow and you won't have this problem that I'm having right now. I just kind of have like a little bit of a blue cast under my eye. I'm just going to kind of tap that out with my finger. I'm going to add a touch of concealer. Try to hide this kind of blue cast under here. And then a bit more powder. Okay, it's not perfect, but it'll do for this video. I mean, I'm wearing two different eyeballs anyways. <laughs> so now that I have this nice, dark, smoky matte base, I wanna add one of the shimmers on top. So I was planning on using this shimmer for this look because it's kind of a white with a blue reflect, but I used that on my other eye. And I wanna show you guys options. So I'm kind of thinking one of these two. Or should I just do my original plan and say fuck it? I think I'm gonna go in with the deepest shimmer, EM7. So same thing I did with the last look, I'm gonna lay down a little bit of the NYX glitter primer just on the center of my lid. I am kind of bringing it up towards my crease, but I'm staying in the center. And then taking EM7 on my finger and tapping that right on top. Oh yeah, that's fun. Okay, I am liking this shimmer a lot more than I thought I was. Out of these four, I thought I would get the least amount of use out of this shade, but this on top of this smoky eye, so pretty. I'm just layering on this shimmer shadow. I think this is my third layer now because I just want this to be popping. Wow. I am gonna take a little bit of the shade on my crease brush and just make sure I kind of have a little bit of feathering on these edges with this shadow. Wow, I love that. You could do a black smoky eye with this shade on top, a brown smoky eye. Now I'm gonna take EM1 on a pencil brush and I'm gonna pop that in my inner corner just to kind of brighten this up and then a little bit under the brow. 
If you have any kind of dark blue or like a cobalt blue eyeliner, you should totally add that to your waterline. I unfortunately don't have a blue eyeliner, so I'm just gonna add some black and just pop it in my waterline, just because I don't really want the skin showing down here. Here's what this eye looks like with just mascara. Now, whenever I'm wearing such a bold, bold look like this, I pretty much need to wear a lash, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop on my lash. All right, I popped on my lashes for this look, and this lash I'm wearing is the Bright Lashes Daydream. This is easily one of my most glamorous lashes that I carry, but it is nice and big and fluffy and perfect for more more dramatic looks like this one. And here's the final close-up of the second look. And then here's just a quick side-by-side -side of both looks. They are both two very different looks. Going back to lashes though, remember how I said that this lash is significantly shorter than most lashes on the market? You can really see that difference when it's next to Daydream because this is such a dramatic lash. So if I were to completely relax my face, you can see how much higher Daydream is hitting me. Like you know, right under my brow, whereas Minimalist is still nice and down there. I had so much fun creating two more looks with the Makeup by Mario palette today. I think this palette is just gorgeous and I am really happy that I bought it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.